In this video, I'm going to show you how to install SDR Connect on the various platforms that are currently supported. I will go through each platform in turn and I will show you how to install the software, how to run the SDR Connect program, and if you prefer, how to start the server on each platform. So first up, let's start with Windows. For this demonstration, I'll be using an HP laptop. Please note SDR Connect will only work on 64-bit x64 based systems. It will not run on Windows XP. I've already downloaded the SDR Connect software, so I will go to my downloads folder and find it. Now we just basically follow the prompts for the installer. I have no RSPs connected. Now I'll connect my RSP. The installation is now finished and I can go across to the shortcut on my desktop and start SDR Connect. The device list refreshes, finds my RSP 1A. I can now click on start. Reduce the gain to get rid of the overload warning and the software is running. To run the SDR Connect server, first we must close any running clients. So we will shut the program down and now we need to locate the SDR Connect executable file. To do that, we open up Windows Explorer. Under this PC, we go to Windows, drop that down. And then go to Program Files, we can drop that down also. Under here, we find SDR Play. I don't think my PC had its morning coffee today. And then finally, SDR Connect. So here's the path name up here that gets us to where we want to be. We can right click and copy address as text. Now we want to open up a uh, PowerShell window. And we'll select as admin to avoid any possible problems. And then we want to CD over to the um, directory where SDR Connect is located. So we can paste that path we just had. However, Windows being Windows and that path name having a space between program and files, we need to put this whole thing in quotes. Like so. Oops, I go twice there. Let's step back. Quote there and then hit enter and now we see we're in the SDR connect directory so now we can start the server with the uh, usual command uh, dot backslash because it's Windows SDR connect space dash dash server and when we hit return the window should open up showing the server is started 
I should also point out that uh, it has found our RSP1A, you see the serial number here. If you attempt to start the server and there is no RSP connected, this uh, terminal window will pop up briefly and then close and then take you back to the PowerShell. So once we're done with the server, Control C, we'll close it out. And that's how you run the server on Windows. I have previously downloaded the software to a memory stick, plugged it into the Pi, and then transferred the installer file over to the desktop. To continue with the installation, I now need to open a terminal window from the upper menu bar. Next, I want to change directory to the desktop. Now I can type the list command ls and see the contents of the desktop. Now I can highlight the name of the installer file to save typing later, and then from the edit menu I can select copy. To make the file executable, I have to type in chmod755 and then the file name. I can easily bring down the file name by hitting the edit menu and then paste, then hit enter. Now we can run the installer. We type in the command dot slash and then paste in the file name again. Hit enter and then follow the prompts on the screen as the installer does its thing. Hit the space bar to step through the license agreement. Again, follow prompts until the installer completes running. When asked for the install location, just press enter and then type Y to continue with the installation. Now that the software is installed, we can run the program. By clicking on the Pi icon in the upper left, if we go down to Other, you'll see SDR Connect is right there. So now after a few seconds, the program will open up. You'll see it's detected my RSP2, and I can click on Play. And uh, now I'm picking up some signals. I can fine tune, and you can hear the radio station. Alternatively, if you don't want to run a client like this and you'd rather run the uh, Raspberry Pi as a server, first you need to close the program down. Then open up a terminal window. First thing we need to do is CD over to the directory where SDR Connect is installed. We can verify that with the uh, list command. And then to start the server, dot slash SDR connect dash dash server. Hit return and you'll see that the uh, server opens up. It's detected our RSP2 and uh, we can now go ahead and connect to this server from other computers either on our local network or across the internet. Uh, please refer to the uh, accompanying networking videos that are linked to in the description of this video. In this example, I'm using an M1 Mac Mini. The Mac installation is very straightforward. We'll start off by going to our downloads folder. And uh, let's see, here we see the version we want to run is this one is the most recent. Double click on the uh, DMG file, accept the agreement. And then you'll see a familiar install window. So we simply drag SDR connect to our applications folder. We'll do replace. And that's it. So once that is installed, we can uh, unmount the install image file. 
we can then go to our applications folder we look for SDR connect open it uh, it finds the duo we have connected so we can hit on play and see some signals I think uh, my antennas on the other input there we go and there you have it now if you want to run the server on a Mac uh, the first thing you need to do is close any running clients such as we have here so we'll close that program and then we need to find the location of the executable for SDR connect and the easy way to do that for me at least is to uh, right click on the program show package contents open up contents open up Mac OS and uh, here we see the executable so if I click on that I have a path name down here I can right click I can copy as path name now I can go and open up a, uh, a terminal window so if I go to utilities terminal and uh, I can type in here CD space and then I can paste the path name and once I'm there I can put in the command to start the server so dot slash SDR connect space dash dash server and you see the server starts running immediately to stop the server just press control C in that terminal window just for your reference here are the uh, commands to start the server on the different platforms if you download the slide deck linked to in the description you can use that for reference I hope you found the information in this video useful as always please visit our website to get the latest updated information on SDR Connect 73 